Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. Abiola David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send bulk email in Excel using Power Automate. So let's start it. Now we have this sample HR record showing the employee ID, name of employee, date of hire, position, bonus, monthly salary, and emails. So the first thing I'm going to do is to format this data as an Excel table. So to do that, I'm going to deploy Control T, which shows the create table intermediate dialog box. So my table as error has been checked automatically. So I click on OK, and that shows the table design context. I'm going to tab, and of course we have the table one, which is the default name. So I'm going to rename this as HR underscore data and very importantly click on enter next step is to save a copy of this excel workbook in my onedrive or sharepoint so to save it on my onedrive click on file and i click on save us and i click on onedrive and click on save yeah. so having done that we're going to see it in our onedrive and of course the auto save button will be available unlike what we have now now let's check the file in our onedrive so this is my onedrive so let me just click on my refresh and then we should see the saved excel file amazing so we have it here send book email in excel using power automate it was modified to few seconds now let's press alt tab to go back to excel so the next step is to fetch our flow of the power automate heading so i click on the insert tab and in the hardens group i click on get hardens now you need to just browse through the office added to select the one we need so this is exactly what we need which is microsoft flow for excel preview so click on the add and finally i click on the continue so having done that we should be able to see it in the far right of our data tab and exactly we have it so this is it then click on got it now the next thing is to click on the flow and we'll see the flow tax pane coming up on the left of our screen but i prefer to always take it out of this box so i'm going to just drag it out and then let's expand so they can actually see what you are doing more clearly but now we have excel online plus power automate so next is to click on the sign in so you need to choose your account and of course your password in order to be able to properly sign in and set up all our parameters and then our actions and run the flow so let's wait as i can. all right so i'm going to pick this account which is my tenant so click on that and of course because i have you know done this quite too many other time i don't need to put in my password but if you're doing it for the first time you will be required having pick your account to input your password all right so you can actually see flows for this excel file we do not have any flows currently in this excel file so you can actually create flow from the template or from the scratch so in our case we're going to create from the template so i click on new and click on instant from blank and that will show where we need to set up our parameters for each of these selected rows based on our table now for the selected row let me just rename this let's say email to employees okay now for each of the selected row, I need to connect to my location so click on this location drop down and i'm going to connect to my one drive for business and for the document library so i'm going to connect to my one drive and i click on this browse to select the file so i'm going to just scroll down and select this send book email in excel using power automate file and finally i click on this table and of course we rename that table as hr underscore data so i click on this table so the next step is to click on this new step which will allow us to set up the action to perform so which is sending of mail so i'm going to click on this mail and then click on send an email notification now we have the destination the subject and the body now before i put in the um, destination let me just set up the um, subject so i'm going to just use xyz um, bonus or xyz company bonus okay company bonus 
okay and then for the destination i'm going to just select the email rows so let's see the email okay this is the email formatted all right and then we can go ahead and set up the body of the mail and the body is going to be there now i'm going to select the name of employee okay so it's going to be for example dear laura carla dear margaret peacock nancy the volume andrew fuller dear robert king and so on and so forth based on the selected rows in our table so there this then i'm going to put in a comma so let's start in the next line the management of xyz company approved bonus of now it's good it's going to be let's say bonus of ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars or whatever amount so i'm going to set for the bonus here now i'm going to select the bonus formatted that's very key not this bonus because i want the specified currency to you know be, to actually be there so i'm going to select this bonus formatted that's very important so it's going to be the management of xyz company approved bonus of this amount which is 10 cents of your then let's select the monthly okay, let, let's just continue of your monthly salary off so i'm going to search for the monthly salary the formatted one also so let's just end your end id oops let me just click this okay so you have to click inside okay your ID so put in a colon so let's just select the employee ID okay and let's finally end the mail so regards HR director okay so this is all we need to do and everything is fine so it's going to be there whatever name of employee was select based on the rules and the bonus we're given based on the monthly salary and of course the employee ID so this is all we need to do so very importantly we scroll down and click on save that's very important you need to click on save so you can even click on save one more time okay then you can scroll up and click on this back button to go to the previous page and then we will see you click on that and then we'll see our flow getting ready now this wrong button is actually good up because we haven't selected the rows in our table okay but before i do that let me just scroll down so they can actually see what's going on see these are all the details okay so you can actually see our connections so everything is looking far you can even edit if there is a need so let's go ahead and um, select our rows so the moment i select my rows you can see that the run button is now become it's now available so all i need to do is to click on the run and then we have the run flow and of course we may be prompted to of course sign in so everything is looking fine so we have this check mark valid connection you can even click on this ellipsis if you want to switch account so in this case we don't need that so click on continue and then finally click on run flow and you can see wonderful your flow run successfully started to monitor it go to the flow runs page so i click on done and that's all now let's go to our email so let's check it out so this is my yahoo so let me just refresh okay amazing so you can actually see every one of them just came in now this is 12 28 pm and that's exactly the time so it just came in so let's open one of them and see boom we have dear pete cree the management of xyz company approved bonus of five thousand fifty one dollars which is ten percent of your monthly salary of fifty thousand okay i forgot to put in the space here fifty thousand five zero eight so let's see another employee let's choose this so we can actually see the same thing subject everything is looking fine there irene maddox three which is ten percent of your monthly salary of forty one thousand 
0.728 your end id is this so this works absolutely cool and this is a game changer so i hope you learned something new if you do and you enjoy this video tutorial give some like you know share and let other people have knowledge of this and of course please ensure you subscribe to my youtube channel because the best is yet to come thank you and bye for now